Good evening, and welcome to St. Bernadette's Missionary, Missionary Discipleship Camp. Today we celebrate the 29th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and we have a second collection for Hurricane Ian Newman. Please air fly, wave, or smile to your neighbor. We ask that you please silence your phone and prepare your heart to celebrate the sacred liturgy. The Lord calls us to pray always without becoming weary. We come to worship him now, asking for the grace of perseverance. Our celebrant is Father Delphine. Please stand.
Let us pray. We conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us offer this Mass for the healing and past recovery of Nate Gellinger, Oscar Gilor, Dr. L. Nicolini, and for the souls of Melda Lutheran, Robert Ayrton, Luz Torca, Vanessa Viola, Vilma Graeda Isidoro, Margarito Tomaca, and for the gift of life of Vivian de Villanueva Baraca, and for the special attentions of Jesus Padilla and Montserrat Zabal. Even until now, and not only that, but we ourselves. We have the first fruits of the Spirit. We also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings. And the one who serves intercedes for the Holy Ones according to God's will. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be confident, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. The word of the Lord. certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And a widow in that town used to come to him and say, Render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, While it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because this widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that Justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, the message of the parable is very clear. It's clear to pray always with perseverance and determination. And the Lord taught us this precept and example. We know this because, as I stated a while ago, that St. Luke, you know, is a nice enough to tell us the point even before he tells us the details. If we are not to lose heart, our prayer must become us our breathing. We must learn to pray always. And Jesus teaches through parables how to pray urgently, how to pray humbly, and how to pray without ceasing. The verse 1 in this gospel read as follows. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always 
without becoming weary. Obviously, Jesus knew his disciples would be tempted at times to get casual about their prayer or to neglect it entirely. And he wanted to motivate them to resist those temptations. Now, the question is, how do we pray? How do we pray? You know, there are people who give up prayer. Oh, never mind. They give up when they do not get what they ask for. They will talk what Jesus said on one occasion. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. How many times I ask for this and that, but nothing has happened. Why, Lord? What is the use of praying? I wonder whether God listens at all. And some lament that way. They question God when they pray. We do not pray enough and with faith. And how much time do you set aside for prayer? And how do, we, how do you pray? Often our prayers are limited to certain formulas. You know, the formulas, the prayer that we have learned. We recite them without putting our heart into them. You look, when you pray the rosary, Our Father, in heaven, holy be your name. Hail, miracle, grace, and Lord be your Right? So, not putting in your heart because you already memorize it. Even when you are sleeping, you memorize that kind of prayer, those formulas, the prayer. Even our attendance at Mass is sometimes only a ritual we go through without being involved personally. It is because I have to go. I must go. It's Sunday. It becomes like an obligation. And if you are obliged, sometimes our heart is not there. Sometimes, many people just attend the Mass, but, you know, their minds are wandering around. Oh, what I'm going to cook tonight? Where I'm going? Thinking a lot of things. So that's why, my dear sisters and brothers, there are all kinds of possible why Jesus tells us not to give up, not to give up when we pray. But for whatever reason we might conceive or might not be able to conceive, the bottom line is He tells us not to stop asking. Not to, ta- not to stop asking. All that has been said is only one form of prayer. The prayer of petition or supplication and certainly, we cannot give up praying other forms of prayer too. The prayers of adoration, love, thanksgiving, and even contrition. Some of their sisters and brothers, I would like to take a moment to speak of this other form of prayer, and not just the asking for things type of prayer. If we want to grow in our relationship with God, if we want to grow in knowing God, Loving God, experiencing the peace and joy that only God can give, then we can stop praying. In everyone's spiritual journey, there are desert periods. Periods when we wonder if God is listening, or the time, the periods when prayer gives us no consolation. And you know, all the saints have gone through these periods like this. And all of them say, we have to keep, keep on praying. To continue to pray during those dry times, or what we call the spiritual dryness, the dryness when we pray, is to continue to grow deeper in faith. Even in ways we are not aware of. Consistency in prayer. Praying when we feel like it. And when we don't, is most important for our spiritual growth. And this is one reason among many why we are supposed to come to Mass every Sunday. So, we keep growing closer to God. And that is what the Lord wants. 
And that is the mission of the church to keep us growing in this way. Amen. Please rise and let us profess our faith. I believe in one, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all who is in this world and in this world. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, the God of my name, on the subject of the Lord, through the Holy Spirit, for us and for our salvation, He came to God from heaven, and the Holy Spirit. that she will always seek to hear and listen to the urgings of the Holy Spirit in preparation for the world cannot be praised to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all elected officials, that they will govern with integrity. And Lord, hear our prayers. For all nations, that they may work together in the pursuit of worldwide environmental justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are ill, both physically and mentally, that they may experience the human power and danger, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the dearly departed, especially for Zion and Melba Wigley, Robert Harrington, Luz Turin Campo, Vanessa Viola, Vilma Rochiato Isadora, whom this Mass is offered, may the Lord grant them mercy, forgiveness, and full blessings in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Loving God, we trust, we trust you will hear the prayer. For these petitions, according to your will and in your time, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
for him and your sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty and Father. That through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. Let us do right to just our duty and our salvation. For we said that we were to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought me to God to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim.
How mercy must all be prayed. Thus, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Bernard, Saint Magdalena of Canossa, and Saint Josephine Papi, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may very clear as eternal life, and may praise and glorify you. O oh God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and glory shows forever and spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that liberty from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present time. Just short uh, Lady of Perpetual Health, join us on Wednesday, October the 19th at 6.30 to pray the Navina. Uh, and bingo, the night at Columbus will be holding bingo on Saturday, October 29th at 6.30 p.m. You can get tickets after Mass or in the parish office. And I'm sorry I cannot bring you outside because after this, I will be praising to celebrate the Spanish news. So they will be the priest. So I, I'm sorry, I cannot see you. I'm just saying, uh, I don't know if everybody yes. <laughs> the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mothers have been over. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen.